guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Norris I do videos on luxury items product reviews DIY projects and traveling as well if any of those things interest you be sure to subscribe and also click the bell icon so you know every time I post a new video today we're gonna to be talking about 17 ways that you can wear the Palm Springs mini backpack by Louis Vuitton and honestly, I'm so excited to show you guys because I spent so many hours trying to put all these different looks together for you and fiddling with all my little little straps and everything. I'm pretty sure my straps are screaming at me at this point. Uh, but I just got this bag not too long ago. I got this for traveling. And one of the best things about this bag is just it's so small and so cute. And yet it just holds so many things and you can wear it in so many ways. So if you have this backpack or you are considering getting this backpack, be sure to stay tuned. Watch this video so you can see how versatile this backpack really is. Let's get started by covering some of the things that you may need in order to do some of these different looks with this backpack. Uh, first of all, of course, you're going to need the backpack and then the straps that comes with them. Uh, just to show you guys how to adjust these straps really quick. Now, just to cover with you guys how these straps unhook and hook, uh, you can see here that you have the little metal pieces that's connected. So you want them facing each other whenever you're attaching them so that we can attach both sides. Uh, for the actual taking them apart, a lot of people struggle with this, so I always like to cover how to do this. Uh, if you look at the strapping here, you see that there's a line right here. So when you take it out, you want to pull it in a way that this little gold piece is going to go through where the line is. You don't want to go backwards where the line isn't because then it's just going to push against this leather and stretch it. So as you can see, the line's here. So I'm going to pull apart this way and it comes off really, really easily. If you pull it the other way, you're going to struggle with it. And I can kind of show you I'm not going to pull really hard. But you can see it gets kind of like stuck right there. You can still take it off like that, but you are going to stretch your leather and it is going to cause... Um, premature wear to the leather uh, and then for these straps you can adjust these longer when they are attached like this however this is the shortest setting that you can set the strap when attached together and I'm going to cover other ways you can make this shorter for you guys something else that you would need are these little o-rings that you can get from amazon uh, this is three quarters of an inch and it just opens like this i like the ones that open and is like completely flush just because it looks a lot better i wouldn't use any like class that has like a little handle or anything just because it doesn't create a smoother um, look and then also it kind of gets stuck so you want to get these little o-rings and like I said they're from Amazon super super cheap uh, they're not really expensive or anything but they will help you uh, as far as some of these looks that we're going to go over and then just another fun item that you can also have is like a bandeau you don't have to have like a Louis Vuitton bandeau but I have one and I'm going to show you guys some fun stuff you can do with this as well now that we've covered some of the items that we can use for this, let's go ahead and get started. First method I'm going to cover is going to be crossbody. For the crossbody, we are going to attach it onto the top two D-rings. And to do that, uh, all we have to do is just attach the strap on there. Keep in mind, any of the two D-ring options, you can actually put both straps on there. And what that's going to do for you is distribute the weight a little bit evenly across both straps versus having it all on one strap so I do recommend it and it is a different look as well personally I do like the way it looks uh, so let's take a look at what the crossbody looks like here's what the crossbody looks like on me uh, you can see I can put it completely to the side or I can push it all the way to the back if I like now if you're traveling I don't recommend holding it in your back just because you can't see it and theft can happen um, you can also put it all the way to the front as well and if you do it to the front it looks a little bit more like that bum bag type of look however I will show you guys how to do a bum bag now let's go ahead and try it with double straps here is what the bag looks like with both straps on uh, you can see it from the side as well and then also on the back when there's two straps you can kind of separate the straps a little bit more and that kind of creates a different look as well that also kind of distributes the weight a little bit differently too so you can see I can stretch the straps a little bit wider 
and I can put it more up front and still do that. And it is a completely different look. I think it's very cute. Next method is going to be the bum bag. To do the bum bag look, we want to have the bag facing forward and then whichever shoulder that you want it to hang on is going to be the corner that you're going to put it on. And then the alternating corner is where the other strap attachment is going to go. For me, I want the strap on my right shoulder, so I'm going to be doing this corner and then also this corner. So here is what the bum bag would look like on me. Uh, as you can see, this is going to sit pretty low for me. So it's not exactly like that bum bag look where a lot of people have it up here. Um, if I pull the strap up here, it's just a little bit too long. So with the shorter setting, this is kind of where it's going to sit for me. Now you can also do double straps for this again. And again, with the double strap, it is a lot more comfortable and it does sit a little bit better in my opinion. With the bum bag option, you can also have it rotated onto the back. So it's going to be like a bum bag backpack type of deal. And here is what it looks like as a backpack. Now I know what you guys are thinking. If you want it to be shorter, how can we do that? I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to do this. I'm going to show you guys two methods to do this. The first one is without the little o-ring and then the second one is with the o-ring. For the first method, we're going to take out the shorter pieces of these straps. What you're going to do with the two straps is attach them together in the middle. There is a hole at the end of it right before that metal piece. So all you have to do is just connect them together like so and then you're going to have another piece for the little straps you can still cover the ends of this so that way you can hold it together to keep it from twisting around and this is what it should look like when it's done now to attach it we're just going to attach it on the same corner so top corner And you can see it is a much shorter bum bag. This is definitely more of like a safety option type of thing if you want your stuff like right in front of you. However, it's not exactly the most comfortable. Um, it's not pushing up on my armpits or anything like that, so it doesn't hurt. Uh, but it is just like a little awkwardly high. And if you are more bigger chested, then this is going to probably be very uncomfortable because it's going to sit really really forward and it's going to probably be too small. For the method with the hoop, what I'm going to do is attach it onto the bottom piece. Once the little o-ring is attached, we're going to attach the longer strap and this one does not have the little attachment piece on there. And then we're going to hook it onto the top alternating D-ring. And then we're going to slide the entire strap through this o-ring. And because it's bigger, the entire thing should be able to fit. And now you can adjust this strap to any of the shorter straps that you would want. Now keep in mind that you do want to have this on the outside of it. So you may want to slide that back through this O-ring and bring it back around and then pop it in there. So that way you can use this to hold the loose end here. Once you have that attached, you can pop it on and see how that looks. And keep in mind that is with the shortest setting, so you can definitely go a little bit longer. And personally, I think this is a great, great height for me. And it perfectly sits like right here. It gives me enough space on the corner here. And for this one, you can also do it with two straps. Here is what it looks like with two straps. And you just connect it to the O-ring the same way. For the next method, I'm going to show you guys how to use it as a top handle purse. And for this one, you can definitely, of course, use the little top handle. And it's very cute. Sometimes I just hold it like this and I have my phone in my hand. Uh, but sometimes you don't want to grab this little tiny one and you kind of want it over like your shoulder and you want it tighter to your body. There is a way to do that. So the method that I prefer is to attach the two shorter straps like previously and just attach it onto the top two D-rings here. Once you have that attached, this is a nice height and I can hold it like this. And this becomes more like a regular purse height. This is of course my height. So for you, you may want to use the longer strap, but I find that the two shorter straps together gets a really nice height for this bag. 
Now just to show you guys something else that's even more fun that you can use this method is you can actually use these D-rings and connect them together. You would just connect them by opening one and then slipping the other one into it. And if you just connect a couple of them, you create kind of like a chain. Here is the completed little chain. And with this chain, you can kind of put it wherever you want on the bag. I personally like to put it on the front just for fun. Here is what it looks like with the little hoops added on there. I love this little touch. I think it just adds a little bit of shimmer to the bag and it makes it look very, very cute. Another way you can do a top handle is by shortening this strap completely. So you would take this apart and just use one strap. Now if you do it with just one short strap, you would stick this piece through the little D-ring and then you would put it into this final notch and stick the little leather piece back over there to cover it and now you have a top handle it's a little bit shorter so this is more like a crook of the arm type of deal uh, it's definitely a little long for me i think but it can still kind of work here if you want it like super short i don't really like it i think i like the longer version of course you can also do it with just the strap by itself and that'll make it a little bit shorter and I think this looks really cute at this length for me. For the next method, I'll show you how to use this bag as a fanny pack. For the fanny pack for me, I will have the shorter strap, so two short straps attached together. And I will show you a couple different ways to make it different lengths, so that way you can do it for different body shapes, because not everybody is my size, and I understand that. So I'm going to give you guys a couple different methods to do that. In order to attach this as a fanny pack, I prefer my fanny packs to be on my left side versus right in the middle. It's just not really my thing. And so what I do is I connect the top D-ring on the back part first. And then I'm going to grab this piece around and then connect it onto the other D-ring. Oop, my little loop is in the way. And here is what this looks like as a fanny pack. I think it is super cute. I think this length is perfect for me as well. It just hangs a little bit lower so it doesn't look so awkwardly high. Uh, if I wanna make this a little bit higher, I can. This is set to the loosest setting so I can move this closer in if I want it to be tighter. I just don't prefer that. Uh, so this is what it looks like. You can double strap this as well. And with the double strap, it's actually very pretty. For the double strap, I like to use the back piece here. And I'll actually connect this through the actual clip itself versus the D-ring just because it doesn't fit as well when there is a clip on there. And you just close this. And we grab the little piece here from before and we just slip that over it to cover that piece. Now we have two straps. So all I have to do is grab this back around and then connect it to the front. So here is the double strap. I think it's super cute. I'm not sure why I love it, but I really do love it. And I think it just kind of adds a little extra pizzazz to it. Uh, here is a full look around. I think this would be so cute with some like sweatpants. So very, very cute. Love it. And then when you are wearing it as a fanny pack, you can also hang charms here as well. I have a little Fendi charm that I'm going to hang on here just to show you guys what it looks like. So you can see it can look very, very cute and very stylish. To make it a longer strap, what you would do is instead of hooking it onto the clip, since you take the short strap off, you would just connect it to just the D-ring instead and that'll give you a longer option and that would look like that. And this will give you a wider option. For me, this is way too wide. It's probably gonna sit like right about my butt right here. So that would not work for me. So you might ask, what do I do if I'm kind of right in between those two sizes? Well, in that case, then you're gonna wanna use your little O-ring and then that can make it a little bit more adjustable for you. And here is a visual reference for the three sizes that I am showing you guys. The front one is the shortest, 
way to do this and that is the way that I did. Second one is going to be the medium size. This is going to need the little o-ring here and then the third one is just the longest strap. If you do just the longest strap you can also just use the two clips and have the short piece attached to this as well but this should be able to kind of give you guys a little bit more option as far as different sizing and of course with the longest strap you can make it even longer if you need to since you can attach the shorter piece to create an extension next method i'm going to cover is how to use your bindo to put it on your backpack as a strap as well this is going to be the most comfortable way i want to say just because having the softer strap against your shoulder. I do find it more comfortable for me. So this is gonna be like what I'll do if for some reason I just feel like my shoulders are hurting and I don't want to strap on my backpack at all. For this one, we will need the O-rings on both of the top D-rings. Starting on one side, we are going to stick the folded side through the little hoop. Once it's through there, I'm gonna open this pull up and then pull through the other side and the reason why I have the little o-rings here is because it just makes a handle more movable versus relying on this d-ring and I think it's also a little bit less straining on that little piece of leather as well once you have that piece in there you would just grab the other end stick it through the other loop And then you're gonna tie a little knot here. So you have a little piece here. Once that's tied, here is what the bag looks like. You can stretch this piece out a little bit more if you wanna see more of that pattern. I think mine is a little bit twisted, so let me untwist that for you guys but this is what the side would look like. And then you can wear it on your shoulders. Again, this is honestly like the most comfortable way that I can wear this. Uh, it's just, it just doesn't feel heavy to me at all. And I think it's just because it's a fabric that's pressing down on my shoulder. So it almost feels like I'm just wearing like a little bit heavier of a jacket on this side, I guess. But it's also very cute too. I do like to tie this little piece in the front just because I think it's a little bit cuter. And because you have a hoop here, you can also hang little charms and everything on here as well. But this is a, another very cute and usable method too. Now that we have covered so many other ways to wear this bag, it is time for us to dive into the backpacking world. Uh, the backpacking world for this bag, it was quite a journey. I found quite a couple ways to wear this bag. So hopefully you'll be able to find a method that's gonna work for you. I'm gonna first show you guys the traditional method. So the traditional method is gonna be with just the two straps that it came with and it's attached. And all you do is just attach it onto the D-rings like it's normal, um, the way that the website has it basically. And this is great if you are very tall, but for somebody like me, very tiny, teeny, tiny, um, this is not going to work very well. And I will show you guys why. So here is my problem with this backpack when it's used in this length. I just don't find this flattering at all. It's literally sitting at the tip of my butt and I really don't appreciate it at all. It looks really weird because it's sitting so far away from my back. And the other weird thing is when I go like this, it kind of like goes weird like this, if that makes sense. And then if it sits like this, then it literally sit like this and I wouldn't even realize it just because it's so long that it just doesn't sit right. It looks weird. But like I said, if you are taller and this sits like about like right here, I think that's fine, but not like all the way down there. That's just like a little bit too far down for me. Uh, so let's kind of figure out some ways to make this a little shorter. And before I go into these shorter straps, I do want to just kind of cover with you guys. You can kind of X these straps as well. Uh, for the X, you can put it in the front of your body or in the back. And that really just depends on what you like. Personally, if I have to do an X, it'll be in the back just because the front looks a little bit too awkward for me. 
but basically you just alternate the clips at the top so you switch them and you'll be able to form like an X right there and then when you put it on you would just put it on like normal and what would happen is there would be an X right on the top of like the backpack right here some people like that look, some people don't like that look. I think it's cute, but it's still too long for me. So I still don't like it because it's too long. The other way you can wear the X is going to be to put the X in front of your body. Now to do this, you would kind of have to like dive into the backpack if that makes sense. So diving my head in there and then putting my hands through, you have the X in the front. And that will bring it shorter, but then like the front looks kind of... I don't know. I mean, if this is like a style for like a shirt specifically, then that's fine. But this isn't exactly how I want to walk around with my backpack all the time. But this is another style that you can wear the backpack. So let's talk about shorter ways to wear this backpack. I'm going to cover some of the ways that doesn't include the little O-rings in case it's not something you want to purchase. I will cover that first. The first method is my absolute favorite. I just think it looks cool, honestly. That is why, but it is a little bit weird. So bear with me as I'm showing you guys. We're gonna take the long strap and this does have the attachment on there and we need the attachment on there. So make sure you have it on there. And we're going to put the one side on the bottom corner of the backpack and then attach the other side to the bottom as well. For the next strap, we're going to do the opposite, but it's really important where you have the hooks. So for this side, I'm going to have the hook on top of this one. So the one with the attachment piece is going to go on top of the piece without it. On the other side, you're going to do the opposite. So this one, we have the attachment piece on the top. The other one, we're going to have the attachment piece on the bottom like this. So attachment piece on the bottom, attachment piece on the top. Once you have that, this is what it looks like. It looks a little crazy, I know, but again, bear with me. What we're going to do is we're going to take the piece that has the attachment piece at the top and grab it and bring it across to the other corner. So we have our bunny ears. You can see them right here. I like to call these, I like to call these bunny ears. And what we're going to do is stick this through this hoop. So bunny ears facing the front of the bag. And then we're going to take the little loop thing and cover it over the bunny ears again. So we're slipping it back on there and we're going to slip it all the way tight. So here is what it looks like on there. Now we're going to do the opposite and this is why it's important to have it at the right order here. Now we're going to take the one with the attachment at the bottom strap and then we're going to bring this across to the other side and do the same thing. So again, I'm going to take this piece off first, bunny ears facing the front of the bag. We're going to put it through the little D-ring. and then slide it back on there. This is what the front of the bag is going to look like. I honestly think the bunny ears are the cutest things, honestly. Uh, and I think maybe that's why I like this so much. And then the back looks like this. Now this is going to make a much, much, much shorter backpack. This is going to be more for like petite girls like myself. Just because if you are taller or um, any bigger, like if you have a bigger chest or anything like that, this might be just like a little bit too tight. Uh, I had one of my friends try it on. She's taller than me and it was just too tight for her. But for me, just for reference, I'm 4'11 and I'm teeny tiny. So this fits perfectly for me. Let me try it on for you guys. So here is what the backpack looks like on me. I am 4 feet 11 for reference, so it sits really nicely. And it's very comfortable just because it's not like dangling on my butt or anything like that. 
and I think it looks really cute just because it doesn't look like there's a lot of other things going on. It just kind of looks like that's the way that the backpack is supposed to look like. And then I know exactly what you guys are thinking. Is this straining the backpack and is this going to come off really easily? The answer is no because the strain of the weight is not going against this piece. So the little bunny ear here has nothing to do with where the weight is hitting. The weight is actually hitting right under the little metal piece here and so it doesn't pull or do anything because this is a metal attachment piece so it actually holds up really well and it doesn't come off or anything like that i personally think it just looks really cool and so that is my favorite method for the backpack for the next method we will need the long strap without the attachment piece on there and what we're going to do is hook it onto the top d-ring and then once you have that on there, we're gonna do the other side and it's gonna be the same thing. So the strap with no attachment piece on there, we're gonna attach it onto the other side. And we wanna make this shorter, so we need to attach somewhere. We don't have the little O-rings on here yet, which we'll show you later, but we do have this little, little tongue thing down here that I still can't figure out what it's for but we're going to use that so we are going to take a strap hook it through this piece and then we are going to attach it onto one of the tighter holes instead and we can use that little piece to hold it back together so there's one side and then we're going to do the other side. So this is what that would look like. Looks a little weird, but it does hold it. Um, I've worn it like this before. And there you go. Now you have a slightly shorter backpack. It does kind of wobble just a little bit. So just keep that in mind that it is gonna wobble a little bit and then the bottom does look a little different as well. Unfortunately, that is just, if you wanna do it this method, this is gonna be the best that it can look. But with this method, you can adjust it longer since you have all of those holes to adjust with. Now, with it on, it is gonna sit a little bit lower for me. Um, so you can see this sits like right about just a little tiny bit lower than the other one. And you can see from the back profile, you don't really see that little piece that much. It's honestly only when you have the backpack off that you do see it. And the backpack does generally sit pretty straightforward, so we don't really have like it wobbling to the side or anything like that. It does usually kind of even itself out really nicely. And that is method two. For the next method, we are going to take the smaller strap and attach it onto the bottom two D-rings. For this one, you will have to sift it through the D-ring and then attach it back together with that final little hole. Now we have a hoop here. We're going to use this for the backpack. We're going to take the two longer straps that doesn't have an attachment and attach it onto the top D-rings. So we have the two straps here. And next thing we're going to do is to sift it through it. So I'm going to put it into the loop. and bring it back up you have the holes right over here we're going to connect it to that one and use this to hold it back together and then on the other side we are going to do the same thing here is what it looks like from the back when it's not being worn looks a little odd now if you put some tension on the straps it goes to the top and this is what it's going to look like. Here's what it looks like with it on. You can't really see too much of that weird strap going on. On the side, you might see it a little bit, um, but it does work and it does make it a lot shorter. So it doesn't sit like all the way down here. Um, so it still sits like at a comfortable area just because you can adjust it just a little bit shorter. For the last method without the O-rings, honestly, I don't think it's that great a method because it doesn't really shorten the strap honestly that much, but you would just take the long strap and then you would hook it through the bottom D-ring and then connect it. 
So you're basically just taking out the shorter piece out of the equation and using only the longer piece. This is as long as, this is as short as you can make this just because the little metal piece does not fit through the D-ring. So this is what the backpack looks like with that adjustment. And you can see right here, it's still just as long as it was. Very, very long, sits awkwardly, doesn't really make a difference, but people do say it does shorten it like a little tiny bit. And <laughs> so, I did want to just show you guys that method. Now moving on to using the little o-rings. All you have to do is actually put the o-ring on the bottom two like this and now you can sift the backpack through and you'll be able to make the backpack shorter. You will want the longer piece without the attachment pieces on there and now we will just put the entire strap through it so we can adjust it to be shorter like that. And then we can do it on the other side the same way. So we just put it right through. Make sure you grab the little holder piece up here and then put it right here. Sift the holder piece down here. And that is what that looks like. This is a very clean way to have it, honestly. So I think visually looking at it, if you were gonna like set it on a table or something, this looks the most like original way uh, where the X1, it looks like it's been messed with a little bit, but I just love the way it looks personally. I think it looks cool. But if you want something that looks like it's kind of made to be like that, I would say this is the method to go if you can get one of the little O-rings. With it on, this is where it's going to sit. So it's still definitely like a looser fit backpack, but it's not like sitting all the way down here where it looks like really awkward. And it's still like very comfortable. It just feels like a regular backpack doesn't cause any extra like weirdness on the back or anything like that. The last method with the o-ring is going to be the same thing. You're going to attach the o-ring on here instead and then hook it but you're still going to have that little piece. Attaching the o-ring on here is just going to create a little bit less strain from leather rubbing on leather and so that way you don't wear down this piece of leather on the bottom. All right guys, so that is the end of today's video. That is the 17 ways to wear the Palm Springs mini backpack. Hopefully you guys were able to find at least one way that you can use it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And of course, if you have any questions, be sure to comment below. I would love to hear which way you found to be your favorite way to wear the backpack. And I will be taking this bag over with me to my vacation in Greece. So if you guys can, be sure to follow my Instagram. The handle is right here. And that way you guys can follow all the pictures that I'm going to take there. And you can see how I pair it with my outfits. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!